Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to save or print a drawing as a PDF in AutoCAD. Let's start by preparing our plan drawing. We will add furnitures to our plan drawing. For this drawing, we use furniture vectors from our CAD Dynamic Housing Furniture Blocks and CAD Bathroom Setup Top View Packs. If you want to use same vectors we used here, check the link in the description box below. Now let's set our plot settings. To open the plot dialog box, you can click on the printer icon, or you can select the print option under the AutoCAD icon. Also, you can type in plot or print and hit enter. After we open the plot dialog box, we'll start with the plotter. If you want to print your drawing you can select your printer, but if you want to save your drawing as a PDF, you can select DWG to PDF option. Now we can set the paper size. If you hit this drop down, you can see the standard paper size list. You can select the paper size from this list. Or you can customize your paper size from properties section. Select custom paper size and click add. Make sure to choose start from scratch option and click next. You can create a new paper size from this box. Enter your dimensions for width and height in the unit of measure you want. Click Next. To modify non-printable area, adjust top, bottom, left and right edges of the page. We enter zero for all edges to use full page as a printable area. Click Next. Enter a name for your customized paper and click Next. And click Next again. If you want to use your customized paper size for other AutoCAD drawings, you should select Save Changes to the following file option. After that, you can select your customized paper size from the list. Next step is the plot area. If you select display, you can print everything seen in your display. Extents which is going to plot all objects in the drawing. You can also switch this to limits, which is going to plot the current grid limits. This option is only available from the model tab. For the final option is window which is going to plot objects in the area you define by drawing a window. Click the window button to edit the defined area. The plot offset specifies an offset of the plot area relative to the origin. We can set a value.
or we can align our drawing centrally. Simply click on the sender option. Now let's set the plot scale. When the fit to paper option is selected, AutoCAD automatically fits your drawing you want to print to the paper size you selected. If you want to print scaled drawing, you can select standard scales from the list, or you can manually set a value. If you want, you can also use this chart to set the values. Click the preview to check your drawing. You can change the color of your drawing in plot style table section. If you want a colored print, you can select none option. If you change the plot style to monochrome, the drawing will be black and white. Also, you can select grayscale. If you choose grayscale, everything is going to print out in degrees of gray. You can use this section for your 3D drawings. This helps you to choose how viewports are plotted and by specifying resolution levels. In the Plot Options box, if you tick Plot in Background option, the plot progress will be hidden and you will be able to continue working in AutoCAD. If you tick Plot Objects Line Weights, you make your line weights visible. Plot Transparency option should only select when plotting drawings that actually include transparent objects. Plot with Plot Styles allows you to control the appearance of objects when they are printed or plotted. If you select Plot Stamp on option, you can add information, including date and time, drawing name and plot scale, to be printed on the drawing. You can choose orientation of your drawing from here. And this is how we print or save our drawings as PDF format in AutoCAD. Do not forget to follow us for more tutorials like this. See you on the next tutorial.